Hello guys, it's your fellow investor here today with another video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about Illustrator Pictures International with ticker symbol ILUS. If you don't know what this company does or who they are, I made a video about them on my channel. It will be in the top right corner of the screen where you can, you know, click on it and see it for yourself. I have a few videos about these guys, so if you want to check them out, feel free to do so. Other than that, I'll go over the latest news, uh, how they are doing from the, in their balance sheet, you know, potential short volume squeeze or even how popular they are. So if you are interested in that, definitely keep on watching and without further ado, let's go straight into it. So as we can see today on a daily chart, it's been quite an aggressive ride. First, it went up about, I don't know, I believe it was like 10, 12% and then from its highs, it went down another 12%. So, you know, kind of back to back, but now we are somewhere around 0% or 1% plus. It goes up and down it's very volatile so you know if you are a day trader this might be stuck for you but if you aren't and you don't have the nerves for it i wouldn't really recommend it <laughs> it's very very volatile but on the five days chart you know it's minus 21 percent however on one month chart it's up 200 percent i believe i made a video about them about like a half a year ago and when they were like i don't know like 12 cents i believe for 10 cents so you know if you bought and hold you know good for you uh, I hope you, you know, went out or closed out on, on, in green, or at least you are holding and, you know, planning to hold more. It's eventually all up to you. I just hope you come out of it uh, with the profit. And this penny stock is kind of special because, you know, most of the other penny stocks, they went up here in uh, the February or March area, and then they went downhill. You know, the similar, it was a similar scenario, but until recently in August, they started to climb up, and if you bought in the, in the lows, you could have sold for like thousand percent profits in August to September, which is quite unbelievable in the current market conditions. And if you manage it, you know, let me know in the comments below. But without further ado, let's go into the news. So first, if we check out uh, our finance, we can see that there's quite a lot of news to look into, but I'll just go into like one or two so we don't spend like a whole afternoon here. But it's definitely a good sign and they produce a lot of PR. Uh, so potential investors or even clients or customers can you know look it up and see how they're doing how they're treating the investors or even the, the other companies or acquisitions so that's definitely a good sign so first news is from september 17 that illus provides an update on the current european acquisition which it is in the process of completing so far in 2021 the company has already completed three acquisitions and is currently in the process of completing multiple acquisitions in the us and europe having recently provided an update on its us acquisition strategy and progress the company is now providing as much of an update as it is allowed to at this stage on the current large european acquisition which it is working on and they're talking about a large-scale manufacturing facility. So this definitely sounds very promising. Illus can now confirm that this is a huge partial privatization deal, which is being completed in partnership with the government of the country. If you make deals with government, you are on the right path. The acquisition of the manufacturing plant and the linked manufacturing contract involves complex political contracts and legal advice, which is currently what the Illus team is working through. In addition to government contracts, the huge manufacturing facility, which employs many staff, will also be used for a large-scale manufacture of Illus firefighting equipment and vehicles and Illus range of commercial electric utility vehicles for distribution globally. So this is overall very good acquisition from this general information they've provided to us. It's not really anything specific like what kind of company it is, but the description very well fits the Illus like scheme of acquisition so they definitely end up on the top of the deal and then just a few days ago Alus announced its US firefighting equipment distribution rollout. As a part of the fulfillment of its strategy, Illus is currently working on acquisitions in the US and Europe. The company can announce that it has officially agreed to terms for the purchase of profitable US-based firefighting equipment distributor, which holds multiple exclusive distribution contracts for the sales and servicing of some of the world's largest firefighting equipment brands and has a current annual turnover of $3 million. So it doesn't seem to be like a really small company. It seems they are doing quite well. You know, obviously the company doesn't want to like acquire money losing companies, only like the best of the best. Illus is officially entering the US market by acquiring a leading US distributor of firefighting equipment as well as equipment for police and EMS personnel. 
The acquisition is a well-known industry name and has been operating for only 20 years. It holds numerous exclusive distribution contracts for its local state and neighboring states as well as several nationwide distribution contracts. The company has exclusive distribution contracts in place for the world's largest hydraulic, hydraulic, hydraulic rescue equipment brand, one of the world's largest brands of rescue tools and rescue support equipment and for a global leader in turnout gear. Then there's even more description of the, like the company they're acquiring, which is great. However, there is not like the, it's not specific name because as they mentioned here above, the seller has requested that all employees are formally notified of the sale prior to the company being named, and therefore Illus will announce the company name and further important details, such as the exclusively distributed product names and contracts in a follow-up press release once all approvals are in place. So this is really a great and really honest move from Illus uh, with this company they're trying to acquire. So, so even for investors, they know that this is going to happen, but because they haven't specified the name, the stock price didn't go up because it will go up maybe like a few percent, but probably nothing crazy. But after they will name the company, this is when you know it will maybe attract even bigger investors and what the stock price should or could probably move upwards massively. And if you check out their income statements on otcmarkets.com, we can see that from the, in their latest quarter results that they had gross profit of almost one million dollars and their net income about half a million. So if we look at that, it looks kind of good if we compare it with previous quarters or years when they didn't really account any revenue, so it was like pre-revenue company, but now they're starting to you know, account it, and that's probably a part reason why the company moved up in the past month or two. If you look at this short sale volume percentage, we can see that right now it's about 35% according to shortsvolume.com. I'm not 100% sure how accurate this website is, but it kind of gives us a general understatement of how the shorters are you know shorting this stock and you can see it very nicely compared with the longs and short volumes so we can see that it's been worse way worse for the company uh, when the stock price went up a lot but since then the shorters were sl slowly but surely moving downwards so there probably shouldn't be like big of a fight with with them here in this one and last but not least if we check out illus on stock tweets we can see that there's almost 13,000 watchers. So, you know, it's a little bit of an underrated stock or penny stock, uh, but it's not anything small. You know, I've been re reviewing uh, penny stocks which had like 1,000, 2,000, or even few hundred watchers here on stock tweets, and then in a month or two, they've gained over a few thousands or even over 10,000 of new followers. So, you know, this kind of indicates that people are aware of it, but it's not anything mainstream like AMC, GME, or even like Facebook stock, right? So, you know, it's not anything unknown, it has some kind of volume, people are interested in this company, and there is possibility that people will buy any possible dips. So if we look at the chart, I would say that we could see probably like a bit of a move to 37 cents, and then it could have a really big correction if there is not going to be like a big PR to back it up. Because I've seen this kind of a graph in with on many many stocks, uh, like this kind of a weird hat and shoulders right, left shoulder, right shoulder and hat or body, whatever you call it. And then the stock just stock price goes down. But I hope I'm wrong and that they will back uh, their stock price or the company growth with some very decent PR. Because from this news I just told, showed you, it seems like they have bigger and better news coming up sooner or later, and that they really want to become a very profitable acquiring company. And so far, I think they're doing a good job, as we could see from their revenues and, of course, their net income. So I hope I brought you some value with this video. If I did, then definitely subscribe to the channel and smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. If I missed something out or you have any possible question, you can let me know in the comment section below. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in another video.